Welcome to Strip Coverlet, where we squeeze the bigger picture of literature. I'm Adrian Ford, and we are here for a TBR, a to be read for the month of February. February. So, um, what you're going to notice is I've tried my best to color coordinate this a little bit because, look, here's one thing, Microsoft, I know you're listening because you come to me for all of your good ideas. In the Word program, you should have calendars. You should be able to create calendars in Word. That would be extremely useful, not just for me, but surely for corporate America. Now, we have on Thursdays, across the month, we will be starting on Thursday, February 2nd, with Fairy Tale Chapter 24. Uh, on Thursday the 9th, we will have Fairy Tale Chapter 25, Chapter 26 on Thursday the 16th, Chapter 27 on Thursday the 23rd. I hope you're reading Fairy Tale with me. It is getting a little bit lonely at this point in the process. Here's the next thing. We have Saturday, February 4th, my personal channel, which is linked in the description below. You should go over there and subscribe because you love me. And that's what you do when you support someone, right? Anyway, I don't know what these Saturday videos will be. Thus far into the year, they have been predominantly quote videos. I have got a video on quotes from Nietzsche. I've got a video on quotes from the Stoics. And I have a video on a quote from Eric Weinstein, which has haunted me for years about what happens in the walls of academe and what happens to the wild men that stray outside of academe and um, how... Yours truly probably fits into the fold and what that means for progress in society, what that means for um, what innovation there lies ahead. Also on that channel, I am trying to get a little bit of a buffer built up as far as videos are concerned because I want to start making video essays. And the the reason I made the video on the Eric Weinstein quote is because I plan on incorporating it in a video that I am making, that I am writing, uh, a video essay that I am writing called American Dark Age. So um, Eric Weinstein, Peter Thiel, they have this sort of theory that innovation is gone, that we're done with all of that. And someone also in that sort of sphere of influence is Elon Musk. And Elon Musk is taking it in a completely different fashion. Elon Musk is working like his hair's on fire to sort of dispel that theory, to sort of put that to bed. And it's interesting to see those dynamics at work. But guys, I'm not sure Peter Thiel and Eric Weinstein are wrong. We might be in the American Dark Age. So what does that mean? I am looking uh, into that. I am trying to find those answers. Oh, give me one second. I've ruined everything again. I am learning new softwares. I am trying to... Uh, here we go. All right, so on Mondays through the month of February... So Thursdays are for uh, Fairy Tale by Stephen King. Saturdays are for my personal channel, which you should be subscribed to by now. You surely opened up a new tab and went and did that, right? Uh, because I'm I'm your favorite. You you said that very clearly, and you've gone over there and subscribed by now, hopefully. But anyway, Mondays are for poetry discussions. We do poetry discussions on Monday, and on Monday, we do poetry discussions. So here on the sixth, we will be going over dark pines under what? Now, what's the purpose of doing a TBR? The purpose of doing a TBR is because a lot of the stuff. A lot of the stuff that I'll be reading, especially poetry-wise, is not something that everyone will have read. So, if, if you're interested in poetry, uh, many of these things, most of these poems, in fact, I don't think any of these poems would be more than a Google search away, so hopefully. Um, and also, I do the poetry discussion videos now with the text on screen like this, so don't be afraid of poetry discussions if you've not read the poem, but hopefully... Um, 
one or two of you will choose to read along with me for this journey. So Mondays are for poetry. And on on Mondays, we have poetry, Dark Pines Underwater by Gwendolyn McEwen on Monday the 6th. Monday the 13th, The Soul Selects Her Own Society, obviously by Emily Dickinson. I have been pleasantly surprised by how... uh, by the reaction to Emily Dickinson. I have tried my greatest to cultivate some love for Emily Dickinson during the, oh Christ, what is it, six years, seven almost years that I've been doing this channel now. So Emily Dickinson is very important to me and I think is extremely important in not just American letters, but in the world of poetry in general. So it has warmed my heart to see and understand the reception that Emily Dickinson has gotten on this channel. The Soul Selects Her Own Society on Monday the 13th, Monday the 20th, Waiting for the Barbarians by C.P. Kaf- C. Kafafi. I don't remember... I don't remember who recommended this one. I did a C.P. Kafafi poem by recommendation on the channel. Dark Pines Under Water was suggested by Nancy. I am trying to take different suggestions for poetry in order because I've got a lot of slots open this year because uh, National Poetry Month will have a poetry discussion every day and through the year we'll have poetry discussions when? Every Monday. So there's going to be a lot of slots to fill with different poems, and I want to, ironically with what I just said, I want to sort of phase away from some of the Emily Dickinson because I have a, I have an idea in mind, I have a project that I want to start with Emily Dickinson, but I've got to figure out a little bit more editing. I've got to figure out a few more tools to throw up on the screen here because this is something that um, basically I'm going to be going poem by poem through Emily Dickinson, 1,776 poems. I want to do it basically each episode going over five poems. Because I think that way we get a little bit of But here's the thing, like, you you can't just sit down and record that much. Like, the editing software that I'm on right now has a 30-minute limit. I can't talk about five Emily Dickinson poems in 30 minutes, so I might have to break things down and go poem by poem. I don't really want to do that because I think you lose a little bit of the sort of focus. You lose a little bit of the uh, overarching message that you get from going through a poet's or writer in general's entire canon the entire works of Emily Dickinson. So I'm going to have to figure out exactly what I want to do there. Um, I might end up just going poem by poem through. So I might phase out of Emily Dickinson. So if you have any suggestions of other poets, I have the entire works of Sylvia Plath. I have a whole lot of, um, I have everything of William Blake. I have a lot of Bukowski. I have the collected poems of Langston Hughes. Uh, and anything else I can basically find on on Google. So if you have any suggestions, be sure to drop them in the the, the comments below because I'm going to be going to be doing a lot of poetry. And so on the 27th, the devil had he fidelity. That is also by Emily Dickinson. Um, I don't know why I forgot to put that on there, but. I have never read this poem. I was just perusing through the index of titles in Emily Dickinson, and The Devil Had He Fidelity? That's a great title, so we're going to figure that out on Monday the 27th. On Friday the 10th, we're going to be going through Cathedral. We have a short story discussion on Cathedral by Raymond Carver, and on Friday the 24th, we have a we have writer's quote 43. That is the 43rd writer's quote in the writer's quote playlist. There is a playlist for fairy tale on the channel. There is a playlist, obviously, for poetry discussions. There's also a playlist for poetry reviews. There is a playlist for uh, short story discussions on the channel as well. So just by the month, Thursday the 2nd, fairy tale chapter 24, Saturday the 4th, 
personal channel video. Don't know what it's going to be yet. If you have any suggestions on stuff you'd like to see me do on my personal channel, let me know about that as well. I'm looking to expand over there. Also, Monday the 6th, Dark Pines Underwater by Gwendolyn McHugh. And I like that poem. Thank you, Nancy. Friday the 10th, Cathedral by Raymond Carver. Saturday the 11th, a personal channel video. Monday the 13th, The Soul Selects Her Own Society by Emily Dickinson, Poetry Discussion. Thursday the 16th, Fairy Tale Chapter 26 from Stephen King. Saturday the 18th, another personal channel discussion. Monday the 20th, Waiting for the Barbarians by C.P. Cavaffi. If anyone knows exactly how that's actually said, let me know. I probably I, I can't imagine it's said any other way, but that's why I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. Thursday the 23rd, Fairy Tale Chapter 27. We're getting fairly close to the end. Fairy Tale, I believe, has 32 chapters and an epilogue. And after that, we will have a uh, a review. We will have a an opening paragraph video. Chapter 31 is on 565. Chapter 32 is on 583. And the epilogue on 591. I'm not sure if the epilogue is actual story stuff or not. We will see when we get there. Um, I've got a couple other ideas for videos for Fairy Tale to just slowly accrue in the playlist after that. And then a personal channel video on Saturday 25th. Uh, this is my personal channel where you should you should you should be subscribed by now. You want to subscribe, don't you? you want to subscribe? And then finally to round out the month, Monday the 27th, the devil had he fidelity by Emily Dickinson, a poetry discussion. That is the did I mess up? That is the entire month on Strip Cover Lit and in my personal channel. You know me over there, don't you? It's still me. It's still me, but on a, on a different YouTube channel. It's linked in the description below. So uh, be sure to let me know, again, if you have any poems or poets in general that you think I should check out for the Poetry Discussions playlist.